everyone, my name is Alan Paletti, but you know that already because you're on my channel. I wanted to show you uh, something, a review today, of a uh, product or a tool. Uh, this is a little bit different, this is a departure from some of the stuff I've, I've done. I usually do reviews on, uh, you know, videos or playing cards traditionally, that's what everybody knows me for. Uh, but, uh, lately I've been doing stuff like the Vapor, and now I want to talk to you guys about this other product that's just amazing. It's called the High Caliber Magic Holster. Uh, it's uh, from Joel Brook out in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, let me tell you, just starting out, he is the most incredibly patient man you'll ever deal with, ever. Um, I had a lot of a lot of stuff I put him through. I asked him about maybe doing a non-leather version of a holster. I don't know, uh, almost a year ago now. And uh, finally, he, he, he was uh, interested in doing that or something. He had something on the back burner, was looking at different materials. And finally, came out with the Ballistic Nylon Holster, which I freaking love. That's the one I got. Not only is it a better entry point, but it's also great for people who are maybe vegetarians, don't want to wear leather. Um, uh, it's hard wearing. Uh, this is great all weather, that kind of stuff. Don't want to worry about upkeep on leather and all that kind of stuff. Not that their, uh, le their leather holsters are that difficult to maintain. But, uh, you know, I do a lot of sweating outside at fairs and events and that kind of stuff. So I want something that was I could hose down if I had to, absolutely. So let me show you this guy. It doesn't look like very much. And it was a lot smaller than I anticipated it to be. But uh, you know what? It's exactly the size it needs to be. There was a lot, of, a lot of research and a lot of love done on this. I'm sorry, I'm about to sneeze. So let me show you the holster here. This is a really, really cool guy right here. This is um, fantastic. Now, whenever I got it, it was packaged very nicely. It was wrapped in, in a couple of different layers of plastic. Had the um, has a little manual that comes with it, and also had um, it was wrapped in a, in a, uh, a like a backpack, like a soft backpack, uh, like a bag style backpack that says high caliber on it and has its branding and all that kind of stuff. Um, really surprised with how quickly it shipped and how nicely it was packaged. Um, it did take a little while. These things are handmade, so it does take a little while from order to to your doorstep, but uh, it's worth the wait. Right. So this is what I wear now all the time, every gig I do. Let me show you this guy. I'm going to put him on. Okay. I'm going to kind of show you what this looks like here. Sorry about all the rattling. I have stuff in there that shouldn't be in there. But uh, there it is. Show you the back. Kind of crosses around like a holster, like a double holster. Okay. Now this is very comfortable. You have to play around with the settings, figure out where you like it. But the higher it rides up under the arms, the better. That hides it better in jackets, from what I understand. I don't wear this with a jacket. That's I think what what Joel designed it for was to be worn under a jacket. Um, but all of my jackets are are uh, cut European style. All of my suits are cut European style with a pinched waist and all that. So whenever I wear this underneath there, even though it's not that much more bulk, um, it does tend to, it doesn't print any of the stuff that's hiding, but it does tend to keep my jacket uh, a little bit open, a little bit more than I like. It kind of flares out a little bit. But that's because I have a pinched waist. This is right there at the waist. It kind of pushes it open a little bit more than I'd like. Um, that's just my style of jacket. Most American style suits um, with the straight, without the, the pinch or anything like that, uh, look just fine. You can't even tell you're wearing one. But for me, personally, I got this thing in the first place to kind of lighten up uh, the amount of clothing I was wearing outside. I live in Texas, and it gets really hot. So I, I don't always want to be walking out there with, with a suit on, and then a dress shirt, and then an undershirt, and a tie. That's too many layers. That's way too warm. So I prefer to wear a short sleeve shirt, or a dress, I'm sorry, a dress shirt, rolled up sleeves to about here, and then this, right? Open collar if it's really warm outside, or maybe a bow tie or something if I'm, if I'm working indoors. Um, just my style. You'll have to adapt it to yours. But, um, oh, I accidentally turned on my little button. We'll get to that in another video. Anyway, this thing is incredible. Now, I have a couple of features on here that you don't come that don't come standard with the uh, ballistic nylon holster. I have, I have a thumb, thumb tip pocket, and I have a Sharpie holder. Um, so those don't, as far as I understand, at least at the time that this was made, those don't come standard. You have to talk to Joel about that. Um, this thing has got so many pockets. I've got I've got two pouches here, four slots up there. This is where I keep my 
square card reader. And I have rubber bands in, in that pocket right now, but that's usually, those usually go around my wrist. Um, I have my Swami gimmick in there, which I won't show for the sake of keeping the secret. Um, two playing card holsters, which are really nice. These things are quick deploy. Bam, I'm ready to go. Bam, ready to put it back. All right, in and out of the way. Bam, bam, bam. Really nice. Slide in and out really easily. Um, I've also got a business card pocket right here, which is awesome. This thing is so so, gra uh, so great to, to be able to carry this around conveniently. I've got a large pocket here that I don't even know what I'm going to do with yet. Like I, Right now I'm keeping my, uh, my, my name tag in there that I do to like do tip buttons and that kind of stuff. But, you know, you can put whatever you want to in there. That's a whole other pouch that I don't even really utilize to its fullest. Uh, now you've got the inside which has pockets. Boom, 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 and then a large one down here which I keep my phone in. And then, of course, over here, I've got an extra deck of playing cards. It's an invisible deck. And then I've got actually two other pouches that I don't even use. This thing has so much space on it, and it's so comfortable. You don't feel like you're carrying all that stuff around at a gig. Um, you know, here, here's, here's the thing. You may go, oh, well, you look like a doofus, or oh, whatever people think you're going to be carrying a gun or something. Well, A, it's Texas, so nobody cares. <laughs> and B, uh, yeah, no, whatever, in a more serious note, I do work at a couple of restaurants. I work at uh, a couple of uh, them locally, and uh, the first night that I, I wore it, it was different, right? I was wearing something different, and the manager like made a comment about it just in in, uh, in jest. Says, "Oh, you're packing heat or something?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm hot stuff," you know. And um, after that, that was it. That was the last I ever heard about it. And what's great is that it actually kind of draws more attention to you in the tables because you're obviously not carrying a gun, um, you know. And you're, you're so, but they are curious what this whole shoulder strap system is, what you're wearing, because you're not looking like anybody else. I, get, I used to get confused as a manager all the time, you know. Even though I'm wearing a fedora, I don't get that. But um, not get my green screen. But uh, you know, this thing really gets people's piques people's interest, and they want they'll want to talk to you, and they'll they'll kind of grab you instead of you having to approach the table and go, hey, what's that thing you're wearing? And that's the perfect time to just go into the magic, right? You've got it's 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 a curiosity. People are not familiar with it. And uh, you know it really draws attention. So uh, the thing's awesome. I, I you know I, I've I've I don't wear the vapor right now. Um, the vapor I haven't been using um, since it's got summertime, and I don't want to wear the sleeves and all that kind of stuff. There's another setup you can do for it, but I have been too lazy to set that up. But this guy right here, I never leave home without this. I this has been this has been with me at every gig I've done since I got it. Literally, um, it's so it's so useful and so comfortable. And I can carry so much more stuff now. Thing is, people go, "Oh yeah, if you're a real magician, talk about management, right? Just have you can do a pack of cards, four coins, and a sharpie, maybe some sponge balls or something, and that's enough." Yes, it is. You're right. But I have um, I have my regular sets that I like to do. I like to, uh, there's a certain way that I like to introduce myself to new people that I haven't met at restaurants and other types of gigs, where. Um, you know, I, I have certain tricks that I like to grab them with and, 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 and build that reputation real fast. And then you'll have your repeat customers mixed in there too. And maybe you want to show something a little different, right? You want to have a little bit more stuff. I like the options, right? Do you need to carry uh, a lot of stuff? No. No, I've done entire shows. I shouldn't admit this, but I've done entire shows with nothing on my person. I'll walk into the, the, uh, the gig with just my shirt on my back and I'll just I'll work for an hour just doing with stuff with with what's around at the party. Um, it's not a crutch if you if you don't use it that way. It certainly can be. Is oh, I want to carry this stuff and I want to carry this stuff. And I used to wear cargo pants full of you know six or seven decks of cards and everything. Um, yeah, no, that's a little bit too much. But if you want to be able to carry your stuff either cleanly and not wear out your suits, which you will do, you wear out those pockets really fast doing that. I've had to go through I don't know, but I think I'm like on my seventh. Uh, rotation of suits now. So I've, I've gone through a lot of suits and just whip worn out, right? And Or if you want to just have something light to carry around in the summertime. Say, I, I, I know a couple of magicians who walk around in shorts and a t-shirt and uh, but they want to have stuff on them, right? Well, a pack of cards is going to get really sweaty in your pocket. It's better dangling from your side than in a, than in a Joe Porper card clip. You know, because it's going to sit in your pocket and it's going to be uncomfortable. It's rubbing against your leg. I like to keep my, po my, my pants pockets open. I don't wear a jacket now anymore. I keep my pants pockets open to do stuff with coins or 
uh, card to pocket or keep my wallet in there and do stuff with that. So it's taken everything out of my pants pockets, put it up higher, made me uh, easier to grab people's attention, made it easier for me to grab people's attention, and I have the options to do a, a million tricks, right? So it's fantastic. I love it very much. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I, this is not a paid advertisement. I had to buy this thing. Um, go check out uh, High Caliber Magic, Joe Brook. He'll take care of you. Check him out. You will not regret it. This is a little bit of an expensive product. I will say this. It's less expensive than the leather ones, for sure. The leather ones, everybody that I know swears by them. Some people were a little weary of the, um, the Ballistic Nylon. I think they're fantastic. But it is a professional item. This is not something you're going to get to walk around and do hobby stuff every once in a while, you know, at your, at, over at your friends or at the bar or something. This is, that's too much for that, right? But, if you work professionally, this thing's invaluable, right? So it doesn't matter how much it costs because it does, it does what it does very well and solves a huge problem for me. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you, Joel. I really appreciate it. Sorry it took me so long to make the video. I promised you this a long time ago. Thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will be back with more reviews real soon.